How's it going, everybody? Thanks for joining us today. Uh, Peter. So originally, we came out to this call. There was a yellow water coming out of their faucets on the hot side. So immediately, the first thing we go to is the hot water heater. So apparently, this tankless water, this uh, tanked water heater, is about four years old. So or about five years old, so it's got one year left on the warranty. So we went over, over some features and benefits with the, with the customer over having a tankless water heater, and they decided to go tankless. So the fact that this was uh, emitting yellow water uh, coming out of the hot side was a good indication that this uh, water heater is failing. So you ever have yellow water coming out of the hot side of your faucets, that's a pretty good indicator that this thing is failing. Once these things start to fail, um, there's no way to go back on a tank rusting out. So once it starts to rust, it's only a matter of time before it fails. So this is the, the water heater we took out. And I'm gonna kind of go over a little bit of what is required when we put a tankless water heater in. So we're gonna go ahead and go over here to the gas line. So the gas line is usually on the side of the house. This is what uh, your gas meter looks like. This is the uh, city supply side. And this is the side that feeds the house. So this uh, gas regulator here uh, basically regulates the gas pressure coming into the home so it's safe uh, to use. So when we're installing a tankless water heater with a higher BTU level, it's common that we have to upsize the gas line to the tankless water heater because it runs at three times the BTUs of a normal unit. So this particular unit, I believe, runs at 184,000 BTUs. So what we did is we ran a new gas line uh, coming directly from the meter to the unit to ensure that the unit is gonna function properly. So whenever you don't run a, a new gas line to the unit, you could be sacrificing gas supply, which will give your tankless water heater a code error, which we don't want to have happen. So here, we've got a gas gauge on it. This is normally what we do to prep our gas line for inspection. Once the inspector signs off on it and our gas line holds, the gas company will come out and uh, basically hook up the gas line to the meter. So once the inspector comes out, he's gonna tag this gas line, letting know, letting the uh, gas company know that it's okay to hook up. So just a little safety precaution that they go through. So we're gonna go in the house, I'm gonna show you the tankless that we put in. Oh, but before we do that, actually, I'm gonna show you the venting. So this is a good, uh, you know, this is our typical uh, venting installation. As you can see, we sealed around um, the outside of the flange as it pops out through the wall to make sure that water doesn't get in the wall. It's something you really want to look for. And also to make sure that the PVC isn't showing when you run the vent outside of the house. So it looks like uh, we did a pretty good job here of, uh, of installing that vent, but that's what it looks like. So we'll go inside the house and take a look at it. So we got our guys here, little guys, beautiful right. installation. So they're a little shy, so. <laughs> but they're good plumbers. <laughs> so basically this is our tankless install here. Um, this is a Renine unit. Um, operates, uh, as you can see here on the side, it gives you a little bit of information on the tankless water heater here. Uh, this particular unit is a, what, what was the size of this unit here? The RL94i. Okay, so I was wrong earlier. This is an RL94i, which means it runs off 194,000 BTUs, okay? So we size our gas line, and we're gonna bring a new gas line coming in along the garage uh, to feed the unit. So as you can see here, this is where we hook our gas line up to. Uh, this is where we hook our, uh, our cold supply into, and this is where we hook our hot feed into, okay? So as you can see, the old water heater uh, supply and return line are coming up from top here. What they're gonna do is they're gonna cut that out and they're gonna feed it into the new tankless unit. So, tankless water heater condensate lines. On any high uh, performance uh, tankless water heater, they do have uh, condensate lines. Um, when they do have a condensate line, you wanna make sure that that condensate pipe is not ran with a metal material because the metal material will disintegrate. Uh, the pH level of the uh, condensate is acidic, so it will corrode. So we use CPVC. Fortunate for us, there is a CPVC discharge line uh, for the temperature and pressure relief line that we can actually tap into. So, the only other thing that we're gonna need is, uh, is a new TMP line in which we can run uh, directly down here and straight outside. But, 
Um, as you can see, uh, tankless water heaters save space, so that's one real good benefit. Um, when water heaters go, they uh, they literally uh, pop and they you know spill all over the place. So as you can see, this wall neighbors the inside of the house. What's going to happen is once that fails, it's going to saturate the walls inside the house, underneath the stand, and a lot of times you get nasty things like mold that can grow if uh, it's not taken care of properly. So just wanted to edu educate you guys a little bit on tankless water heaters today. Hopefully I shared enough information for you guys. I appreciate you guys joining us and we look forward to next time.